Hi, it's Jasmine. You know, that girl who did you know what way before the internet ever existed. Join me and my special guest every week as we talk about anything and everything because nothing is too taboo. So punch your ticket and get on board the crazy train with me, Jasmine St. Clair. All aboard! Welcome to a new episode of Crazy Train with Jasmine St. Clair. Joining me this week is my special guest, my special gem from Japan, Marika Hase. I met her originally at the XPW wrestling show, Pleasures of the Flesh. And those of you who watched the show on TV or actually came to it will remember her from that because she was in the Miss Extreme contest. So I decided to chit chat with her because Japan has a huge deathmatch scene as well. Deathmatch wrestling, that is. And I want to see what her thoughts were on the whole show and everything else. So let's welcome Marika Hase. Thank you so much. Uh, is it Arigato? Yes. Arigato for joining me. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you for having me. Well, I know that deathmatch wrestling is really big in Japan. Did you ever grow up watching deathmatches on TV? On TV, yes. I, my favorite deathmatch wrestler is female wrestler. Her name is... Suzuki Suzu. I always watch her show. <laughs> now, I heard in Japan there is a porn star who's also a wrestler, a female. Do you know her or what her name is? Uh, I think, yeah, I, I heard about her and I watch her show, but I don't remember her. I think Chan Mina sounds like that. <laughs> So funny. I want now I want to meet her. I want to see who she is because it's so crazy. <laughs> so before you went to XPW Pleasures of the Flesh, did you ever go to wrestling in person, like with all the blood and the glass? <laughs> I sometimes go to wrestling in person, but it was my first time to go there uh, this much. Uh, in person and so yeah so excited <laughs> it was crazy I mean it was dangerous yeah. is it what you expected I yeah I kind of know because I always watch by internet the I love this much <laughs> but uh, when I was watching, I'm I'm so excited and I said, Oh fantastic, oh my god, so good. And everybody look at me. Did you say so good? You look just innocent girl, but are you sure? <laughs> everybody surprised because uh, I don't me don't look like not interested in to listening. <laughs> No, definitely. I remember you had the little ears or something, the sweatshirt. Then I heard someone told me that you were putting an eye, a guy in an arm bar, that you were wrestling someone. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. Just praying. <laughs> yeah, I heard you kicked his ass pretty bad too, Maria. So I don't know. I think you're dangerous. I think you're dangerous. And I think Pete is too. So... <laughs> So do you intend on coming back to any more shows, to come back to XPW to watch again, or hopefully to participate? I, of course, I want to go back to XPW to watch, but I'm also interested in to fight. <laughs> so recently I'm taking jiu-jitsu or any good place <laughs> maybe time to sit down oh my god i don't think the guys will have a problem with this at all <laughs> how long have you been in the usa how long have you been yeah in states i moved here 2014 so eight years but but i 2018 uh 
I found out that I have cancer. I already in remission. I'm okay. I'm happy. But so, but the three years of eight years, I just lay down here. <laughs> it's a really, um, it's very tough. A very good friend of mine is going through it. So every time he has chemotherapy, like for two days or three days, he's just mm. tired, throwing up. And it's so, un it's very unexpected. So mm. when this happened to you, did you have a support system in the States of friends? Did you feel sad? I mean, of course you felt sad, but is it, did it feel lonely at any point? Uh, e yes, but uh, I... I have boyfriend and my boyfriend always supported me. Also, my when I get main, major surgery, my mom and my brother came from Japan to take care of me, maybe 10 days. <clears throat> so it was good, but after the surgery, I needed to take a break about two or three years and I always, annoyed because I'm kind of workaholic. I love go outside and go work and <laughs> but I can't do anything. So I always annoyed. I was annoyed. Well do you still I mean not to be personal, but do you still do chemotherapy now or do you take the pills? I'm taking a pill but good I was lucky my cancer was not the early step but the, my cancer kind of is uh, does not need chemotherapy, so I just uh, uh, taking another pill instead of chemo. It has a little bit of strong, uh, give me strong side effects, but uh, yeah, I can handle it. <laughs> it's interesting because it's just seeing someone else go through it and from like A to where it is now, it's so intense, you know? And when you got, when you first came here, mm -hmm. right, were you first involved in adult films or you did Penthouse first? Um, I already, or films? I already was adult film star when I was in Japan. And then I decided, oh, I want to be, maybe I can't I can't become only a uh, number one, but uh, I want to be only one. So I want to do all uh, more different way. <laughs> so I can I came here here basically to enjoy porn. <laughs> then after a few months later, I become penthouse pet. That's interesting because Penthouse now, like today, Penthouse is way different than when, like in the 90s or the mm -hmm. 80s, even when you were in Penthouse, I'm sure it was different. So what did you do before this in Japan? Did you go to school for something? Like, did you go to school for maybe, I don't know, art or um, accounting or anything? <laughs> I'm... Uh, I went to no normal school, just a high school, regular high school, <laughs> and college. What did you study in college? In college, did you take classes? Did you take um, anything, like one specific thing you wanted to do, or you just took all types of classes? I Yeah, I, I chose one class, but... Uh, I don't know how to explain it. In it's okay. <laughs> yes, about the... About the... Focus. Did you... Was there something you wanted to focus on in college? About the... Yes, um, I pick... <laughs> it's okay. This is... Oh, <laughs> I like your cat. Oh, I have a black and white one, or I have a black one. But um, I know a lot of girls, like before they get into the business, a lot of them maybe went to school to do hair, to do makeup, um, to cook, um, yeah. to do uh, math. Did you go to school for anything like that, or you just wanted to be a model or um, a porn performer? I I went to regular school, 
So not a, like a uh, big Pacific class. <sighs> yes, then after graduate school, I had the opportun opportunity to be model for magazine only one time, just like a part-time of job, not porn, more fashion magazine. Then I feel, oh my God, uh, to create something in front of camera. This is really fun. I never get such a fun experience of my life. Then I decide I wanna, I want to always be in front of camera. Then I decide I moved here and become a pole. <laughs> hey, it's a, <laughs> you'd be surprised. There's some people that were housewives yesterday and today they're on OnlyFans. Uh -huh. So it happens like that overnight, you know? I know you have a lot of fans and you have a very, um, unique niche, a unique uh, way about you. There are not too many adult film stars in modern day that are um, all Japanese. Mm -hmm. Now I have to ask you something. I love Hello Kitty. So <laughs> I heard that in Japan, it's two things, that there's a Hello Kitty amusement park. Is that true? Yeah, we have. <laughs> Okay, now I have to see that. And then also someone told me that you could buy used underwear. Like oh, in a vending machine. machine. You can do that? Uh, uh, we, yeah, we can, we can buy it. <laughs> That's so creepy, my God. Like, uh, but, uh, but of course not, uh, not uh, anywhere, more like more Nado town. <laughs> Now, is there an adult, uh, are there adult films in Japan? Is there like a whole industry there in Japan for adult or no? Ooh. Is there an adult, is there um, a porn film community in Japan? Like, do they do porn films there or they don't do that there? We do porn. We make porn, but uh, we, we need to cover pussy and dick in a row. <laughs> So really? we needed to come up with a pixelated. <laughs> that's so that's that's crazy. Like then I don't get why they I don't understand. So why would you call it a porn if you're covering the most important part of it? <laughs> yeah, but so so I done I done so many porn when I was in Japan, then I moved here. My first porn shoot, the director told so Japanese porn need to cover pussy, so we never focus on showing pussy when, uh, to, to posing. <laughs> but uh, after I moved here, my first porn shoot director told me, hey, Marika, you already shoot so many films in Japan, why, but why you can't posing to show more pussy, more pink? I don't know. I feel weird because I grew up in Japan. <laughs> no, I think that's great. I mean, Japan is different with pornography than America. Now, when you were a little girl, what did you want to become, Marika? Um, I want to... Oh. <laughs> the, you know dumpling? The Chinese food, dumpling. Dumplings? Yeah. You wanted to be a dumpling? <laughs> I want to be a dumpling chef. <laughs> <laughs> because once I'm Japanese, but uh, when my I saw my mom making a dumpling <laughs> when I was a kid, it looks, oh my God, mom, it's so beautiful. I feel so. Yeah. It's like <laughs> art when they do, when everything in Japan is like art, like oragamai. Then dumplings, that's an interesting choice to be a dumpling chef, you know? Yes. So I imagine coming from a different country to start adult films in the States, it's got its challenges, right? Did you have a connection here already before you came here? Or did you come to the States and then just figure it out once you got here? Because it's tough. Even coming from another state 
to California to do porn is difficult for some people. It's it's uh, it's wild. <laughs> Uh, I have a small connection, but uh, uh, so uh, I have Japanese uh, journalist. I have a friend who is Japanese journalist, and he told me he can introduce me good agency. So I followed him, and uh, I went. I followed him, but. Uh, um, he was a little bit to, uh, try to just not a good guy, just try to, to trick me. So I stopped to contact him and I, oh, it was only 10 years ago. So we don't have a good social media. So I just uh, open Facebook and uh, find the porn agency, porn director, everybody. And then we, we didn't have a smartphone because 10 years ago, no, I think 13 years ago. So I use electronic uh, translate and I contacted uh, everybody, porn studio, porn director. Hello, my name is Marika Hase. I speak Japanese. <laughs> yeah. Then it's a quick yes, like, yes, come here. We want you. Yes, just come here. Just get down here. And when you came to California, was it everything you expected it to be? Like, has it been everything you wanted it to be? Oh, when I was in Japan, I always watched the TV series Sex and the City. Mm -hmm. So I thought the United States looks like that. <laughs> But the, I came here to the porn, so it, it is Los Angeles. So first of all, we different the, how the town, everything. Also, I thought most difficult thing is language, because when I moved here, my English skill was not limited. My English skill was zero. Just I can say, hello, my name is Malika. <laughs> so I thought the most difficult thing is English, but it was not. I feel most difficult thing is more culture difference. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't, I mean, it's okay. I don't think the guys mind that your English isn't, you know, that you didn't speak that much English. As long as you could do, hoo -hoo -hee -hee, that's all I want to <laughs> I'm telling you, all they want. I mean, some of these some of these American men are just stupid, as we all know. Um, even the listeners, but it's okay. They admit that they're dumb. I think it's in every culture. Yeah, but they don't. They don't mind. Don't worry. I think they they think it's cute. Um, <laughs> at least I hope so. But now let me ask you something. So, my first time I had sushi. Okay, I thirteen years old. Okay, and sushi was on this conveyor belt like this thing that goes round and round I pick it up I see the green thing I didn't know what it was I took chopsticks <laughs> and it was sushi mustard <laughs> is there a difference between sushi in America than Japan <sighs> mm, is there a difference between sushi here then in Japan, like, is it done differently there? I know it's better, but is it is it different in any way, the sushi that you buy in Japan? We, we don't have California roll. <laughs> Do you have cucumber roll? Uh, we have cucumber. Actually, cucumber roll is, you know, most uh, simple one. So if you uh, uh, Best cucumber roll sushi restaurant, which means best sushi restaurant, Japanese people said. <laughs> I like all of them. I like, I got creeped out when I had eel. The eel, eel was really scary. Then there was a uh, sweet shrimp. Mm -hmm. I just picked it up and just ate it. But I was scared because <laughs> it was so slimy. Did you ever see moving octopus before? Like octopus, people eat the octopus while it's alive. Have you seen that? And I ate. I had the experience. What? Isn't that dangerous? Like, can't it like stick on to? Uh, is it dangerous? I don't think so. 
<laughs> I'm so alive still. <laughs> yeah, you're still alive. Thank God. I mean, that's like, I, I don't know if I could do that. What do you think is, as I've seen different foods in Japan, what do you think is the most um, weird or the oddest delicacy in Japan? Like, do they have chocolate covered crickets? Um, chocolate covered worms like do they have delicacies that are kind of weird in your country in my country i grew up in japan so i don't feel weird but when my boyfriend came to japan he is surprised because the japanese restaurant has how can blowfish Oh, I love those. Those are so cute. Yeah, they're pretty. <laughs> they make good lamps. <laughs> Bro, he ate bluefish. And he ate a horse. <gasps> yes. Well, it's weird. Uh, when I lived in Europe, we had whale sushi. Mm -hmm. Then um, there was horse meat. Like, oh. a, yeah, they had it as like steak. Then, you know, frozen pizza, mm -hmm. frozen pizzeria company was putting horse meat and they didn't tell anyone. Oh, so I probably had it before too. Um, so coming over here now, so now you're here in the States, you've recovered from cancer and you're getting back into porn. Yes. How was that? Was it really tough? Did you have a hard time um, getting work? Um. Physically, I think it's tough because uh, you know, without without cancer, porn is uh, need so much energy, so much power. But uh, after even I already back to industry and even I already in remission, I still taking medicine and the medicine side effects is strong. One of the side effects is uh, very tired. So physically, it's uh, sometimes difficult, but mentally, I became happy again. <laughs> to back to the work. <laughs> and then OnlyFans. Do you find yourself making? Do you find yourself on OnlyFans more than shooting actual porn movies? Uh, I think so. But my, I, I love only fans to chat with my uh, fans, not only selling porn, but, uh, but I also love shooting for company because, uh, you know, I, company make more, more, <laughs> everything, good <laughs> it's more glamorous yes, um, yes like i saw the photos of you with those two guys at the piano very <laughs> beautiful i have to say all of you um, and then you have the uh you know then they put all the promotion out there right and that helps you yeah yes <gasps> is there anything you have not done in adult films that you want to do I think I pretty much done everything, but before I become cancer, I found out that I have cancer. People, my fan loves my really aggressive hardcore or S and M scene because you know very tiny petite Japanese can do very aggressive. That's my charm point. <laughs> that was my charm point. But after I come come back industry from cancer, the hardcore and S and M company does not book me so much because people said people think I can't do anymore. But I want to there and I want to show my fans. 
Look, I'm sure someone, I'm sure someone wants to see that and someone will know that you can. So now I, I do have to ask you, so the photo that you posted, and I'm obsessed by the photo <laughs> with the two guys with the tuxedo, with the piano, oh. which, which company was that for? I think it's a babes. Ba babes. Babes? Yeah. Who, who are the guys? Dan one is Danny Mountain. The other one is... Uh, Danny who? Mountain? Danny Mountain. Okay. <laughs> Are you chicken? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm looking for the phone number. So, uh, but so, so, all right. So then there's a lot of different people now to do this business. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I saw a film or a documentary on Pornhub. Oh, right. The yeah. Netflix one. Yes. Then I remember August Ames. Now, I did you know August Ames? Yes. Yeah, she was really pretty. It's very sad. Mm -hmm. So in this day and age, now I know that throughout the years, it's different mm -hmm. how things have transpired in porn. Um, you could always choose who you want to work with. Yes. In her case, she yes. didn't want to do something. Is it, oh, yeah which is really sad. Well, I mean, it's sad for her, mm -hmm. but do you think that they put too much pressure on the girls to be accepting of working with anyone? Like, do you feel like you have a choice of who you work with or do you feel pressured that you have to work with this person? Do you ever feel that way? Mm -hmm. e Yeah, we have right to choose who I who we want to work with. But at the same time, yeah, we have pressure to if if I said I don't want to work with this guy, this guy, this guy, maybe company start to hate me or company. <laughs> yeah, I we think a lot of some. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame you. I was working for Rob Black in Brazil years ago. Okay. This is a funny story. And, uh, <laughs> um, okay. This is really fun. It's really fucked up, but I have to tell the story. So we were in Brazil. Rob had a transsexual in a scene. Okay. But the transsexual got picky and didn't want to work with the girl. I'm like, who the like, who are you to say you don't want to work with a girl? I think he, I think he was jealous. That's what I think. I think it was a jealous person or something. But it just, it was wild, like going there all the way to another country and just like seeing something like that. And then you have someone like August Ames years later, you know, my body, my choice. And she didn't want to do something and she got bullied, you know? I didn't know her that well, but I just definitely felt very bad. And I know a lot of you girls make your own choices, which I admire. You know, I just always hope that they let you choose what you want to. Are there a lot of guys that do adult films that are straight films, like just straight boy girl that have done gay before? Like, do you know if they allow that anymore? Like um, yeah, gay porn and straight porn. Then in that documentary on Pornhub, you had two guys that were gay, but they're in a scene with a girl in a straight scene. Do they do that much? Like, have you ever worked around that? Because uh, you seem normal. I, yeah, I, I, I know some of people uh, working for gay movie, also mainstream porn. <laughs> I, I know some performer who, who does like that. Yes, but the uh, most of agency and most of girls say no to work with them. Good. Uh, I mean, okay. That background is so cute. So you do webcam shows? Webcam? Uh, yes, I I do sometimes. But this background, when I found out that I have cancer, my boyfriend changed my background because after surgery, I needed to spend my bedroom all the time. So he changed my background. Uh, he sounds like a good boyfriend. Was that the same guy I met at uh, 
wrestling. Yeah, the guy. That's the same guy you beat up, right? <laughs> yeah, you had him in an arm bar. <laughs> then you did all these other things. Poor guy. Uh, I, I invited him back to the show. I told him you could you could beat him up in the ring. <laughs> I think he'll do it. Um, so do you find it very? Do you do? Do you find it hard to chat with fans, or do you have like a translator? to do it like do you have google translate and you just chat away that when you go on only fans do you oh. use google translate uh i i do it by myself but uh, sometimes uh, i do oh yeah i'm honey yes yes and uh, i do at the same time <laughs> translating <laughs> Just click out a mass message. I'm horny. How are you? And it goes to everyone, right? Just <laughs> then they all get the same message. But at least they, they feel special at the end of the day. Um, but you know, I think it's good. And I saw that when, when you raised money for your uh, GoFundMe, that when you used what you had to, you gave the rest back to the hospital. Most people wouldn't do that. You yeah, know, I really it. appreciate everybody about yeah. <laughs> Plus, you have a cat. You like cats. So you're definitely a good person. And you know Slava, who's another good person. Slava. Slava. Um, Slava. Alt erotic with the baseball hat who brought you to wrestling. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, 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 Ivan. Ivan. <laughs> we all call him Slava for some reason. Uh -huh. so what do you, do you what do you have coming up as far as um, do you do appearances as well? Or do you just you don't do appearances? You just do your only fans and you shoot i do appearance and uh, especially end of april me and chris the black guy my boyfriend yeah. will go to taipei because taipei has big pong expo convention oh so have see uh, uh, yes and uh, so they book so many asian performer so I uh, asked them, can I go to with Chris? And uh, he, <laughs> we go. And <laughs> I'm and so you, excited. What about the cat? They, uh, what are you going to do with your cat when you go to Taipei? Oh, I need to ask somebody, <laughs> my friend. It's really cute. If you live nearby, I would take care of your cat because I love cats. Uh, I had six cats at once. I'm jealous. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. So if people want to find you, so we know at the end of April, you go to Taipei. Yeah. Is there anything that you really want to work towards in adult, like any awards? Do you want to eventually, do you want to direct? Do you want to become agent, or retire? Like, what do you want to do? Are you asking my goal? What, what, what goal? There you go, your goal. <laughs> I could have been, I just should have used a simpler word. Yes, your goal. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, so, hmm. so this is uh i i love uh, doing poem but uh, at the same time i love creating something in front of camera so i don't care it was poem for poem or for photo shoot or for mainstream movie i don't care which one but I want to be in front of the camera as much as I can. And this year, one Japanese mainstream movie company booked me to shoot my documentary movie. I'm so excited to start my documentary, to start to shoot my documentary movie, also come out of the movie and how people feel my movie. I'm so excited. <laughs> I think that's great. So you have a documentary, you have your Taipei, and then what's your OnlyFans if people want to find you on OnlyFans? My OnlyFans is onlyfans.com, Marika Hase, M-A-R-I-C-A-H-A-S-E. I post everything. <laughs> it's like a full-time job. Um, like being you is a full-time job. Uh, oh, yeah. What about your all your um, Instagram? How do they find you on Instagram and Twitter? My Instagram, at mark Z Marika Hase, T-H-E-M-A-R-I-C-A-H-A-S-E. -E. It looks like my Instagram is fake because eight times 
suspended, so my account is very small, but it is my real one. <laughs> oh, also, my Twitter is Marika underscore 1029, M A R I C A underscore 1029. Also, I have a YouTube channel, Marika Hase Official. What's the last word? Oh, official. Okay. Now, is your birthday October 29th? Um, no. My birthday? birthday. <laughs> not when birthday. is it? My stage birthday. Okay. All right. It's not, I'm October 23rd. That's why I was oh. asking. Are you Scorpio? <laughs> the Scorpios are great. So, do you have any messages for your fans? My fans. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for supporting me every time and uh, coming for me every time. <laughs> it's so sweet. Literally, I love you guys. Literally coming for her, by the way, guys. Um, thank you for joining me, and I can't wait to see you back at XPW. I can't wait to see your documentary, and I hope you guys have fun in Taipei. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe one day you could make dumpling cookbook. Okay, yes. yes. Have fun. Thank, you, thank, you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. I hope you're enjoying the ride on Crazy Train with Jasmine St. Clair podcast. So if you are, do me a huge, huge favor. Woo! Please go ahead. Go on to Apple Podcasts or Spotify or whatever, but Apple's great. Give me a nice rating and review. Send me a screenshot and I promise you, I will send you a special goodie bag. So please rate and review Crazy Train with Jasmine St. Clair podcast. And in exchange for that, once I see the DM with the review and your name and address, I will get those gift bags out to you. I'm not going to tell you what's in it. <laughs>